Hey there guys and welcome back to another video and I'm gonna say this now if you hear any noise in the background somebody's mowing so that's all you gotta know so if you if you watched the video before this I'm talking about this person seven reasons why they chose Christianity over Buddhism and like I mentioned in the other video I don't care what religion you are part of what philosophy you go by etc etc all I care about is that you're a decent fucking person. You don't want to harm anybody, nor have you harmed anybody. And if you have harmed somebody, I hope it's in self-defense and not because of any stupid fucking reason. And my general, and this is my general opinion. This is things I've known from being a Buddhist. And like I mentioned, I have no ill will against this person. I'm just pointing out their flaws since they obviously don't know much about Buddhism. And there are some things I do know about Christianity that they don't really state. But yeah, I'll link the video down below where you can watch part one. This is part two. And we're going to be talking about the last two. The sixth one, and we're going to be talking about six and seven. So, with number six. In Christianity, we base our morals on the God, the God, goodness of God as opposed to the evil of Satan. Well, you could do that either way. Your morals don't have to be based on a God, in a good in a, like a God, basically. That's why people always question people like atheists, where their morals come from. And that's basically just normal fucking morals to know the good and the bad. Whole thing. But for Buddhism, reality is not personal. We stated that last time. However, morality requires personality. Well, yes and no. Morality doesn't have to come from personality. It has to come from your Sometimes personal opinions, sometimes it's just based on common fucking fact, like don't fucking murder somebody. That's a common fucking fact we all can admit. Consider the morality of a rock. You don't blame a rock for being used for murder. Well, yeah, it's a weapon, obviously. Rather, you blame the murderer. Yes, and in Buddhism, we do the same shit. You do something bad, that's on you. In Buddhism, there is no framework for mor moral duty. The fuck? If somebody could please explain that in the comment section, please. I don't understand that. You cannot use karma because karma is impersonal. Karma is what we can tell somebody. We can tell somebody karma's a fucking bitch because it is. So if you do something wrong, karma's gonna bite you in the butt. If you do something good, karma's gonna probably do something good for you, depending. Now some people will be, I did something good today, but today something bad happened. Is karma not on my side? And we say, well, maybe you did something a long time ago and karma's finally kicking herself in the ass and thinking, hey, this person didn't, didn't get their karma for today. Let me just bring it right back. Good karma takes a while, you know? So really, there's really not much to say when it comes to people saying, oh, I have to say this or something like that, but who cares? Breaking a karmic rule is not instru instructively evil. Where's the distinction between error and sin? When you do an error, like let's say me, I accidentally stole as a kid. I did not know it was wrong because to me, I was a stupid kid. This was basically when I used to live in an apartment with my mother. This was before I was five years old. I did it. I didn't know why until my mom told me if you don't stop taking candy, I won't bring you to the store. And then I realized, oh, shit, I should probably not do that. That is an error. So the punishment was my mom might not take me if I don't stop doing that. And I did stop. A sin, on the other hand, is continuously doing it, like lust. If you continuously doing something, like let's say you're in a re relationship, and you continuously keep on doing something on that end, then of course you're going to have people that will look at you and say, oh shit, this person obviously has not learned their ways of their life. So there's that. And the, and the other one. And another contradiction, in Buddhism, there does seem to be an understanding of doing something deliberately evil. Yes, like if you intentionally murder somebody. But that means it's a moral error that needs atonement. No, that's just fucking wrong. But Buddhism is unclear on who or what you atone to. Karma is impersonal and doesn't even provide a context on how to judge sin. You did something wrong. How hard is that to even understand? Obviously, some people could look at me and be like, well, yeah, you used to steal as a kid, but you don't do it now. And I'm like, obviously, I learned my error of my way. That's an error. A sin is continuously doing it. You continuously keep on cheating on something until they figure it out, 
look at you and be like, you lost my trust. You don't deserve any happiness. I hope you go fuck yourself kind of shit. And if they get, and they're going to have a ton of bad karma because they're going to, he's, that person's going to realize, oh shit, all these women that I've been cheating on are now realizing I did this. They're going to probably fucking kill me. And that is a different kind of case because, you know, law, I'm not going to go into too much detail because even I can't remember it. But yes. Uh, do even, do enough good deeds make you forgiven? Not really. Karma does not care about you, basically. How can you compare the severity of a sin with the good deeds to make up for it? You can't. Karma's still gonna look at you and be like, you did this a long time ago. Enough times for me to count. You deserve this about as much time as you deserve it at random points in time. To kind of go fuck yourself kind of thing. Now, if you make an error, of course, karma's not gonna be as harsh, obviously. But you're still gonna get some kind of karma. Who or what is the judge of on if you have? How the fuck am I supposed to answer that? I don't know. Shouldn't sin be punishable and not excusable? Yes. That's why if you murder somebody, you go to jail. But let's say you did not intend to kill somebody. It was an accident. Or like, if we're talking about self-defense, that's a little bit different. Self-defense, you don't get punishable by death or go to jail. They just look at you and be like, you did this in self-defense. You're in the right. Yeah, you kind of killed this person. But when we look back through the whole history of it, we did see a struggle. You were defending yourself. Like, let's say hey, we're talking about rape, even though that's very harsh. Let's say you were defending yourself. You took something and you killed the person, but it was in self-defense. Of course, you're not going to get a harsh sentence. Some people would be like, but they deserve some kind of probation. Probation. I say no because it was self-defense. Like my mother, she got hit when she was pregnant with my sister. She had to go for jail for 24 hours until Phil, who was the guy, uh, didn't have enough time to actually make up a story and he actually told the whole truth. And so he had to, I think he had to go to jail or something. I don't know what happened. But she didn't have to, she only stayed in jail for 24 hours. That is a basic, that's basically enough punishment for her. That's karma. So we continue. As opposed to Christianity, in which the line of sin is clearly drawn. Jesus paid the debt of sin, so that is not an excuse. You are forgiven for sin by repenting to God. Um, you mean conf confession? Still does not mean worse shit. People have confessed what they have done, and they still get bad karma. Christian. Like I said, karma does not give a shit about you. They will look at you and be like, yeah, you did this a, while, a long time ago. We didn't really punish you back then, but here's this. Here's the middle finger for you. And then number 17, Garantina Paradise. They didn't mention this in the other one talking about Nirvana. I'd explain that. So, yes. As Christians, we are guaranteed heaven. We know exactly what we do in order to get to paradise. Yeah, you'd be a good fucking person, but yet you guys still break the fucking rules. You guys aren't always going to go to heaven, you know? But in Buddhism, how do you know you're good enough? When you're reaching nirvana, that's how you know. You just have to continuously be a good person. That's all you gotta do. As long as you're continuously a good person and you don't fuck up, then you might go to nirvana. You might not, depending on what happens. But yeah, the other thing I want to, the other thing I'm gonna be talking about is Wicca and Paganism, which is something they put together, even though the two are different. And then we have Islam, which they kind of are like, oh, it's too different. When in reality, well, yes, they are kind of completely different. They is Islam was built upon Christianity and Judaism because from what I was told in my world religions class, Islam looked at Christianity with a guy, Muhammad, looked at Christianity and Judaism and thought they didn't complete it. I'll complete it by making my own religion. So that's why there is an Islam. So yeah, my watchers voted for me to do Buddhism second and coming up is Wiccan. Uh, if you're one of the people who are upset that I've come up with and you're the reason why I've lost in the first place, I'm open to discussion from serious and respectful people. See the rules on my profile. Sometimes people claim Christianity has contradictions. I used to dump, I used to dump these a lot. So if you have some, I'm all ears. I've never been presented with a contradiction that hasn't ended up with being misunderstood or ignorance of the context, I'm sure I can help. So, note that I'm only trying to help. But yeah, I'll have to end the video here, guys. This was the second part. If you guys want me to talk about the other two, I'm glad I will gladly do it. This is me just making a commentary on this. So yeah. Like I mentioned, please don't bring any hate to this person. So yeah. And if you're the person who made this, I'm so sorry. I, I felt like needing to make this. So, bye.